Hello. Well, uh, continuing the tradition of October, I'm going to be talking about uh, another classic movie. Um, this year it's celebrating its 50th uh, anniversary, and it's one of the most influential horror films of all time. It's garnered a cult following, and has many sequels, and... Um, yeah, uh, aside from the title, uh, yeah, it's Night of the Living Dead, and um, it's it's just great. Um, you know, it's uh, in a lot of ways it's a very simple story. Um, it's a group of people uh, <clears throat> in a house, and they're all trying to stay alive from zombies even though they're not called zombies at all. They're called, I think, I believe, ghouls, if I'm correct. And uh, it starts out with a woman named Barbara and her brother Johnny uh, to visit his grave and put a reef on there. And uh, when... Uh, And when uh, all of a sudden some somebody is walking around uh, and uh, comes it towards Barbara uh, and attacks her, Johnny, who was joking earlier about being about this guy being somebody, you know, uh, something who's just not not good uh, sh uh, she's attacked and Johnny comes back to help but then he's killed and uh, she goes tries to get into the uh, she gets in the car but uh, the keys are with <laughs> Johnny and she has to <laughs> undo the brake and then goes down the, a hill and then once that all happens and she can't go anywhere, she gets out of the car and just runs. And then she makes it into a house who a man named Ben is inside and uh, he has the whole place boarded up. And uh, as the movie goes on, we then find out people in the basement. There were people in the basement the whole time that Ben did not know and Barbara She's a bit, she's just in shock and is in, like, just not right anymore. And so, once all these other people come in, a lot of things happen and a lot of conflicts go and, uh, and, uh, yeah. It's just a very, uh, very cool movie and it's, um, one with uh, black male as the lead, and uh, it's, it was very unheard of, particularly for horror movies. Like no horror movie ever had a black man as the main character. Sure, there was actors like Sidney Poitier who were very successful uh, before then, but in the genre of horror, ever was that was un, it was really unheard of. Dwayne Jones played Ben. Uh, Judith O'Day had played Barbara. Uh, Carl Arden played Harry Cooper. Marilyn Eastman played uh, his wife Helen. Keith Wayne played Tom. Judith Ridley played Judy. And uh, Kara Schoen was, or Kara Schoen was Karen, uh, the daughter of the uh, Coopers, and uh, it's just a very small movie, a little movie that nobody really thought anything would happen with, you know, uh, particularly since it was horror. You know, horror is not synonymous with being, uh, in those days, looked at as being in the 60s as uh, big of a draw as it 
once was. I mean, they're cheap to make, but still, um, it wasn't uh, like outside of like Psycho or Birds of the '60s. There's like a, there weren't as many horror movies of those uh, of the of the '60s that are would be say notable. There was a uh, Rosemary's Baby, which came out later, but or that year too. But um, yeah, in the '60s, horror movies outside of like Psycho, Peeping Tom, um, The Birds. Um, sure, there were some hor uh, Hammer films, you know, and other things, but yeah, and Roger Corman, but. Nothing that would blast a huge impact like, say, Psycho or The Birds or Rosemary's Baby, you know. This movie really is one of those that stands out, uh, particularly since it had a bunch of sequels to it, so. And, uh, you know, George Romero passed away last year, and uh, it's a real shame. But this is a great... Uh, you know, buy. Uh, if you get the Criterion Edition, I think it's the best version because, you know, this movie's public domain. And because it's public domain, you know, yes, it's very accessible anywhere. Uh, a website called Internet Archive has this. It's the most downloaded film on that website. The only unfortunate thing is because it's so widely accessible to video distributors, from various formats, from VHS to DVD to and later Blu-ray. Not the best care was uh, taken with this movie, and um, or other movies anyway. Not just this, you know. A lot of movies that are public domain, people didn't care. It's like can make a quick buck. Uh, put this together, you know. It's a big name, eh, twenty, fifteen bucks, whatever. Anything that sounds good and make a bunch and then we'll make a profit, you know, who cares about the quality, you know, picture and sound can be awful, but hey, nobody will know that until they bought it, so that's what happened a lot. Um, again, the only good thing that this film had with it being in public domain was it was fairly accessible, but at the same time, the downside is people didn't care about the quality. So, the plot of this movie is really simple, but then, yeah, it began, it had a life of its own, really, once it was released after, you could say. Um, and people just love it. People love it to this very day. It's been remade. The sequel was remade. Yeah, Dawn of the Dead. And there's a bunch of sequels to this film can't remember exactly how many. Yeah, there's Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Land of the Dead, Diary of the Dead, and Survival of the Dead. Um, you know, so there's six in total, not counting the remakes. And, and then there, there's a bunch of official, unofficial sequels called Zombie. That was marketed as the Zombie 2 was marketed as the sequel to Dawn of the Dead, and then there's Zombie 3, Zombie 4, Zombie 5, and they have nothing to do with that series. And then um, there was Return of the Living Dead, and yeah, there was just so many homages, parodies, unofficial sequels, and this film brought about a franchise and so many things that people just loved and loved to this very day and um, I can understand why it's very good very influential in the horror world and um, it's very significant um, so if you've never seen it you can view it online and then if you like it, and depending on the quality, maybe buy the Blu-ray. 
So I don't believe if you barely, uh, I don't believe that'd be a bad thing. It's really good. It's a great Blu-ray set. Again, you have a bunch of features like Night of the Anubis, which is a never-before-seen work print of the movie under the original title. Because the reason this is public domain was because the copyright was removed when they changed the title and they forgot to put the copyright there. So they, it was in public domain from day one. It's not one of those that copyright expired and they forgot to renew it. So that's really all I got to say about Night of the Living Dead. It's a great movie. Uh, had a lot of sequels, uh, remakes, and yeah. So, till next time, I hope you all have a good day, have a good weekend. Halloween's coming up, so, uh, gonna do anything? No? Yes? I don't know what I'll do. Just probably gonna watch movies like that. So there you go. Uh, that's all I have for you. So until next time, have a great day.